Zama and I live in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. These two islands of an archipelagic state are situated at the southern end of the Caribbean. These islands contain a high diversity of plants and animals, both terrestrial and aquatic. However, the native marine biodiversity of the twin island is being threatened by an invasive species called the red lionfish. Lionfish have been invading marine ecosystems since 1985, where it began in the Western Atlantic region. This fish species continues to reproduce and populate new areas. Since 2012, they have moved to the Caribbean Sea. One of the first sightings around Trinidad and Tobago's coasts were in the region off of Castara and Tobago. Currently, the lionfish is established in the Caribbean and can be spotted almost all around the coasts of Trinidad and Tobago. The red lionfish is considered the ultimate predator for various reasons. The defining characteristics of the lionfish threat are its insatiable appetite, as they will eat everything in sight and will not stop even when fish populations are low. Extreme survivability. Lionfish can exist in a wide range of environments, allowing expansion into numerous ecological areas. Insane reproduction. A female lionfish can lay up to 2 million eggs in one year. They will continue to destroy our coastal ecosystems as they constantly decimate young fish populations. Lionfish can reduce juvenile fish populations on a reef by nearly 90% in as little as 5 weeks. It is estimated that they will eat between 4 to 17 million reef fish over the course of one year. Lionfish eat many different species of native fish and may even overeat rare species. They consume over 56 different species of fish. Lionfish can withstand deprivation because their stomach has the capacity to expand to more than 30% of its regular volume to facilitate all that they eat. Another advantage for the lionfish in foreign waters is that the native species do not recognize them as being a predator and so would linger around them or occupy the same spaces, making it even easier for the lionfish to catch the spray. The lionfish is able to defend itself, can survive at different depths, has no known predators, and has a high tolerance to changing environmental conditions. The unfamiliarity with the lionfish prevents the native fish from pursuing it as a prey, and even so, the lionfish possess poisonous spines so that it can defend itself from being attacked. From the graph, it can be seen that lionfish occupy depths of up to 150 feet. Reproduction rates exceed that of our native species. Because lionfish become capable of reproduction in less than one year, and it takes our native fish three to five years. Reproduction for the lionfish occur every four days throughout the year. And in the Caribbean, a single female lionfish can spawn over 2 million eggs per year. that juveniles are being eaten and therefore decreasing in numbers and so the next generation of that species would be non-existent. 
When the juvenile are unable to survive long enough to produce, the species will eventually become extinct. The lionfish will continue to thrive and move on to another food source down to trophic level targeting another species. As lionfish frequent coral reefs and prevalent species, the success of these reefs are in danger. Coral reefs gain nutrients from the plant material called zooxanthellae that live on them. Zooxanthellae utilize light and carbon dioxide to photosynthesize. The waters around corals must therefore be clear, allowing sunlight to penetrate. If the surface of the water is covered by algal blooms, for example, photosynthesis is inhibited. Zooxanthellae would be expelled from the corals, causing coral bleaching, and without their nutrients, the corals would die. Lionfish influence this process because they feed on grazers like parrotfish that serve to clean the algae off of the reefs and with decreasing numbers of these grazers, algal blooms can occur. The grazer species also serve to eat parasites off of larger reef fish. This is an example of a mutualistic relationship that is affected. With the loss of the grazer fish, the larger fish remain with the parasites and that would affect their mortality. Therefore, the lionfish presence causes a collapse in the ecosystem structure of our Caribbean marine areas.